Hey, what's going on, everybody? Once again, this is Mr. Span, and this is Life As I See It here on Span TV. Thank you for checking me out yet again. And on this video, I want to talk about uh, Abraham Lincoln. And uh, part of the reason why I want to do this video is because I put a video up a couple months ago about Keith Oberman, and he was talking about the lack of diversity in the Tea Party movement, about there uh, not being a lot of people of color participating in that movement and whether or not it was racism involved in that. And in that video, in the comment section of that video, uh, there was some discussion going on about uh, the Republican Party, Republican and Democrats in general. And I made a comment in my, in my comment section about uh, Abraham Lincoln and the fact that he didn't use the Civil War. His freeing of the slaves in the Civil War had nothing to do with his like of black people. It was a Civil War strategy. It was a part of the strategy to save the Union. Freeing the slaves was a secondary result of what happened with the Civil War. Abraham Lincoln's primary ambition with the Civil War was to preserve the Union, not to let any of the states secede from the Union, not to let there be a Confederate States of the United States or whatever it would have been had the Confederate States won that war. And so uh, I had a I had a person come on and challenge uh, that assertion. And he talked about how there are a number of racist Democrats and that the Democratic Party was the party of the KKK that you know and uh, part of the reason that he mentioned that was because I said primarily now a lot of members of the KKK would typically vote Republican now and that the party of the Republican Party of the 1850s and the 1860s does not resemble anything in the least the Republican Party of the 2010s and neither does the Democratic Party. I, th I think you'll find if a lot of those 1860s Republicans and Democrats were to look at their party today, they would not recognize them. And so he came up with a bunch of uh, quotes from uh, different people of the de you know the Democratic Party, speaking about uh, you know just racist quotes. Uh, but I think he totally missed the the point of what I was trying to say. And the original point was that Abraham Lincoln didn't free the slaves because he had a nine he just felt that it was something that needed to be done for black people it was his need or his his heartfelt ambition to save the union so i have a few quotes here from abraham lincoln about his various attitudes towards slavery and towards the civil war so i'm going to read a couple of these off to you so you know you don't think i'm just speaking on something that i have no clue about that I'm just talking out of the side of my neck. This is some. These are things that Abraham Lincoln has said in public and in private concerning the Civil War, concerning black people, and concerning slavery. Here's the first quote. I will say then that I am not, nor have been in favor of bringing about in any way the social and political equality of the white and black races, that I am not, nor have I ever been in favor of, making voters or jurors of Negroes, nor of qualifying them to hold office, nor to intermarry with white people. And I will say in addition to that, there is a physical difference between the white and black races, which I believe will forever forbid the two races living together in terms of social and political equality. And inasmuch as they cannot so live, while they do remain together, there must be the position of superior and inferior. And as much as any other man, am in favor of having, I am in favor of having the superior position assigned to the white race. I say upon this occasion, I do not perceive that because the white man is to have the I do not perceive that because the white man is to have the superior position, the Negro should be denied everything. This was a debate that he had with Stephen A. Douglas in Charleston, Illinois, September 18, 1858. Another quote from Abraham Lincoln, no amendment shall be made to the Constitution, which will authorize or give Congress the power to abolish or interfere within, within any state with the domestic institutions thereof, including that persons held to labor of service by laws of said state. That was said by Abraham Lincoln in March of 1861. Uh, there's another quote here. Let me you know pull this over a little bit more. Uh, 
this is concerning the Civil War. And uh, I quote, The war is waged by the government of the United States, not in the spirit of conquest or subjugation, nor for the purpose of overthrowing or interfering with the rights or institutions of the states, but to defend and protect the Union. Which is primarily what I said when I said that Lincoln's primary goal was to preserve the Union. It wasn't to free the slaves. Uh, secondly, Lincoln also said, if I could save the Union without freeing any slaves, I would do it. And if I could save it by freeing all the slaves, I would do it. And if I could do it by freeing some and leaving others alone, I would do that also. So he's not really convicted and wanted to free the slaves. That wasn't what his purpose was. That wasn't the purpose of the Civil War, to free the slaves. The purpose of the Civil War was to save the Union. That was the purpose. Another quote. Do the people of the South really entertain the fear that a Republican administration would directly or indirectly interfere with their slaves or with them about their slaves? If they do, I wish to assure you that once, as a friend, and still I hope not as an enemy, that there is no cause for such fears, the South would be in no more danger in this respect than it was in the days of Washington. This is a quote from Abraham Lincoln in a letter to Alexander Stevens, Vice President of the Confederacy, December 22nd, 1860. So he's, he's never had a, a, a dying, undying aff uh, affection for black people. That wasn't the purpose of the Civil War. And I hope that by providing some of these insights of what these are Lincoln's words, that my point is, you know, pretty much made that the Republican Party, you know, with um, with Abraham Lincoln being one of the preeminent Republicans, he was the first uh, Republican president of the United States, and a lot, you know, a lot of Republicans like to hold that up as a reason for Black people to somehow have some type of allegiance to the Republican Party, and they like to point out that uh, the KKK started under the Democratic Party again those institutions are no longer the way they were in those days the Republican Party of the 1860s would not recognize the Republican Party now the Democratic Party of the 1860s would not recognize the Democratic Party of right now so uh, you can deny it all you want to the fact that the matter remains is that's what the situation was at the time so it kind of bothers me because I'm an independent. I know a lot of you have a hard time believing that, but I'm an independent. And it bothers me when I constantly see Republicans, you know, uh, perplexed that, you know, black people vote primarily Democratic and they assert that, uh, you know, they're voting against their own interests and not see that a lot of times white people tend to vote against their own interests also when they vote Republican. Not all people, but some. And it bothers me also that you don't think that we have the political astuteness to make a difference as to or make the decision as to who would better serve our interests, whether that be the Republican Party or the Democratic Party. Sometimes it's neither party. But to suggest that black people owe an, a, a, a debt of, an, you know, just we owe the Republican Party our gratitude when that's, you know, the, 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 the actual abolition of the slavery wasn't what was foremost in Abraham Lincoln's mind. So that's what I wanted to get across. If you have any questions or any statements you wanted to make, make a response video. Do anything. Just get back to me. Let me know what you guys think. I look forward to hearing your responses. Thank you again for watching Span TV. Talk to you guys again soon. Peace.